house with my eyes closed and just yelling out, dude, help me, <laughs> help me, dude, it's the... <clears throat> hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike Colleen, MikeColleen.com. And this is a Benef with a Benef.com. <laughs> so a Benef was disconnected from himself. Would you say there's some truth to that? Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of truth. Because I, I felt so um, alienated from myself, like I couldn't... I would sometimes, it was so bad that sometimes I would be walking down the street and end up somewhere completely where I didn't want to be and just be like, how the hell did I get here? Right, dissociated. So, one thing I'd like to say about therapy is you might have a couple issues or layers of issues before you get to the core issue. Now, we worked with things with the benefit here and then here and then there. And then when we got to it, it came out. I was like, oh, there it is. See, a lot of times, like, I want to get rid of this. I don't want to be this way. I don't want to be afraid to approach women. I don't eat, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to find out, well, why are you afraid? Well, what's causing this? And then we cleared one thing. Remember the timeline therapy thing we did? Yep. And you were spinning. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah. And, the, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. and, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm waiting for him because intuitively, mm -hmm. call it energetically, whatever it is, because, and I'm like, Oh, he needs to let go. Like I just knew, and I'm kind of grinning, but his eyes were closed, and we're doing this timeline therapy thing, and it's like it's like I'm spinning around the room, right? Yeah, it's I was, going yeah. faster. <laughs> yeah, it's like I was caught up in a, a hurricane or a tornado, and I, and were you trying to hold on? Yeah, even though I was just sitting on his couch, I felt like I was just spinning circles. Right, but do you see how your life that was a that was the way your life was? Yeah. Now, in the therapeutic session, when you're spinning, what happened when you tried to hold on tighter? Uh, it got worse. It went faster. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the thing that's, especially for men, that's really hard to understand until you do it enough times. You go, oh. And then I finally, like, I just like, when's he going to figure it out? Because I really like for my clients to figure it out. I don't know, but he was getting real bad. He's like, Mike, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was like, well, I was pretty much yelling at him. Like, I was like, dude, help me. <laughs> Yeah, like so it was it must have been a pretty funny sight because I was sitting on the couch with my eyes closed and just yelling out, Dude, help me <laughs> help me dude it's the... Well we can laugh now, but back then was it funny or was it scary? It was pretty scary. It was really scary. Yeah. yeah. Now I, I, I kinda started getting caught up with the fear, but I, I knew that look he's safe, he's on the couch, gonna be fine. But I kinda like and I had to kinda pull myself out, so finally I waited like, come on man, you'll get it, you'll get it. I didn't say that, but I'm thinking it in my head and I was like, Alright let go. He goes, what? I go, let go. He's like, yeah, I want to bend You're going to have to have some faith here. Let go. What happens when you let go? Uh, the tornado slowed down completely and I mellowed out. It completely stopped in. Mm -hmm. Did you feel a lot calmer? Yeah. Like totally calm? Totally calm. Now, that had something to do with an issue in the past. I'm not going to go with that right now. But do you see how when you try to control things, you try to force, you try to make a woman like you, try to use a technique and open her line on her to get, get her attracted to you, mm -hmm. do you see how that causes the anxiety and the fear? Yes. Because you're trying to control it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, when you taught me those of the techniques, like being internal and grounded and all that stuff, do you remember how hard I was trying at those techniques? And, and I said, don't try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons I got, I kind of started to get a handle on it was because I stopped trying. I was literally just like, ah, fuck it, whatever. Because whenever I tried them, it was hard. Like it was, it was uh, really hard to, to do the techniques and they would just cause more anxiety. Because you can't do the techniques by doing them, by controlling them. It's it's literally like putting the brakes on in a car. Yeah. And you're not going it. Why isn't it working, right? You let go of the brake. And you're like, but, 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 but it's not working. Like, Abena, do you want to go somewhere? Do you want to get through this? Do you want to get more out of life? Do you want to make more money? Do you want to get the girl? Well, yeah. Well, you're going to have to let go. And you're going to have to actually drive the car around. Mm -hmm. Now, when you learn to let go, would you say that everything in life has gotten easier? Yes. Um, and by everything, uh, he means everything. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's nothing that... Uh, there's pretty much nothing in my life that isn't touched by what I've learned from him um, but there is one thing though like it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen I tried pushing it for a long time like I, you know I gotta let go let go let go it doesn't happen that way hmm. um, it'll happen when it's supposed to so Do you remember when I said I, I grabbed a bottle I used the cork and I said this is this is this is my entire course right here 
and especially the techniques we're doing to let go. I go, here it is, you ready? Let go. I go, the reason why you're not opening up is because you're trying, which means you're you're pushing the door closed and you're holding it. Yeah, it's like I thought the biggest thing for me was the biggest like uh, hurdle was that I thought that I understood them. I thought that I understood them and for whatever reason, they just were not working. That was my biggest hang up. Right. I really thought like I understood the uh, internal awareness, letting go and self love and this and that, but it just wasn't happening. Um, Why? What were you doing? You keep you said the word because you I was thinking. pushing it. And your in th thinking is pushing. So my course is not understood through thinking about it. It's understood by letting go of thinking. I was willing to, to hear and believe everything you said, but it's like for, to guys that's so abnormal. You're, you're even to like, you, what the fuck? especially to you, because you used to be Mister Thinker. Yeah, you you're just like what the fuck does that mean? It your thinking, guys, is getting in in your way. Do you see that now? Yes. You know why I know that he sees that? Because what? Um, and I think I mentioned in the last video, but we bumped into each other. We haven't talked for a year. And we went to the same restaurant, just, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? And I looked at it, like, oh, wow, you really changed. And he's like, yep, because I'm finally doing what you taught me now, because I get it now. And it's obvious, it's so obvious. Proud of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, life is good, man. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a master at this or anything, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I've actually, I feel like I've just started to get the hang of this. And uh, it's making my life awesome. Anything else you want to say? Um, if getting girls is good, but um, getting happy is even better. It's uh, it's more than happiness. Uh, if you feel like you're missing something in your life and you wake up every day um, looking for it, um, he's got it. Yeah. So. We're gonna leave it there.